Hey guys, this is Inka. Today I wanted to show you guys how I make one of my favorite desserts, which is the lemon meringue tart. I really, really like citrusy, very like tart and sweet desserts, so this is usually my go-to. To start with, I'm making my tart crust. Every time I make a tart, this is the recipe I go with. Um, I love using almond meal. I think it does add a little bit of flavor. I always like adding a lot of zest. Um, I use lemon and orange in this. Sometimes I put in lime too. I just like how it adds sort of like a citrusy flavor. And um, I'm just using my baby food processor here to kind of pulse the ingredients together. I don't know, recently I've just been making a lot of desserts at home and this one's definitely more time consuming than the other ones, but I promise it will be worth it. I always make sure to heavily butter my tart pans because you want to make sure the crust doesn't stick to it. After chilling the dough, it's definitely very, very hard. So you can let it sit for a while if you want to let it soften a little bit. Usually I just go right for it, which might not be the best decision, but. So I usually just spend a lot of time rolling the dough out and you can see all these like beautiful specks of color in there, the zest, the almonds. This part is also one of my favorite parts, sort of rolling out the dough into the tart pan, making sure that everything's neat and tidy, trimming the edges and pushing it to the sides. It's so easy to just patch it up with a little more dough and then usually I dock my tart crust to make sure it doesn't puff up and again it just feels very therapeutic. So this next part is making the lemon curd, which is honestly something that I like to eat even just on its own because it's so refreshing and sweet and tangy. I like putting a lot of zest and a lot of lemon in mine, but you can totally adjust it as you'd like. If you like it more sweet, add more sugar. If you want it less tangy, add less lemons. But I like putting a lot of lemons, even if my wrists end up hurting a lot from having to squeeze all of them. Now I'm just making our lemon juice mixture, which is honestly just some sugar, lemon juice, zest. And then I'm heating that up, making sure the sugar dissolves while I prepare my egg yolks and eggs. And then this part is super important. You don't want to go too fast when you're stirring the hot mixture in. You don't want to accidentally cook your eggs. So do it slowly and then we're pouring it back into the saucepan and heating it very slowly over low heat. I like skimming the foam off from the surface, but that is totally optional. And then just keep stirring. And then stirring in some butter. 
giving a little taste test to see if I think it's sweet enough. And then I am just straining the mixture again to make sure that it's extra smooth. I like smelling things a lot, so that's me. And then we're just putting some cling wrap over it, touching the surface to make sure no skin forms. And then what I like to do sometimes is also make some other toppings. And this first one I'm working on is some candied citrus. When I made this that day, I had a bunch of blood oranges, so I just sliced them up, not too thick, not too thin, and then just simmered them in that sugar water on super low heat for a long time until they became candied. I still remember how good this smelled when it came out of the oven. There I am again, smelling my tart crust. You wanna make sure that it's cool before you pour your lemon curd in. And this part just feels so amazing because it's so perfectly smooth and creamy. And then we're just going to pop that in the fridge and let it chill for a while. Meanwhile, I'm just taking out my candied fruit and letting them dry on the side. Also for this tart, I made some meringue cookies to put on top. I know usually people just pipe meringues directly on the tart and blow torch it, but I really like meringue cookies. So I made some vanilla and matcha ones that actually ended up being really, really tasty. Once we have everything, we are ready to decorate. This part is always my favorite part. I love just seeing everything come together and become into something really beautiful. And that's it. This is my lemon meringue tart. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you guys get to try it at home. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.